Well, let's talk about Tomb Raider. It seems that the pinups in Sleep with the Fishes has been reversed. Asper came out and actually made a statement. Uh, they listened to the fans and the fans are praising them for this situation. They've come out, they've reversed the censorship that was in the game, which is a very, very good thing. This type of censorship where they're removing very, very tasteful pinups that were in the game as an easter egg and was beloved by a ton of fans for this game doesn't matter your age range for the game i remember back when the playstation came out in 1994 tomb raider became one of those titles that you sat there and you played with and you played a lot of it so in the third rendition of tomb raider for something like this to actually be taken away it it's so iconic and such an easter egg it got a lot of people up in arms Let's take a look, this article from Niche Gamer. Now, before I get fully into the video, before I show you what I've got here, please subscribe to the channel. The more you subscribe, the more we can grow. And the closer we get to 2,500 people supporting this channel via their subscription. Thank you, every last one of you that do hit that button. Tomb Raider 1 through 3 Remastered undoes inadvertent censorship. So, Asper Media inadvertently removed these pinups. This is, this is not an easy thing to just say is gone, right? You do have to physically go in and delete this line of code. It is a very simple line of code. If, from my understanding of how the, the programming works, I do have a little bit of a programming knowledge. But it would have been just, this picture goes here, delete this line. So to be able to reverse this quite easily is just going back a file and saying, here, it's back. So this is why it's such a big deal. Why the censorship on these things are such a big deal and why we talk out about right now with Stellar Blade such drastic changes that they did to that game. Last week, we reported on a change that the latest patch, which removed in-game pinup posters of video game heroine Laura Croft in, from her remastered game, after an outcry from fans, it appears that Asper decided to bring them back, saying, Thank you to the Tomb Raider community for your continued feedback and support for Tomb Raider 1-3 through 3 Remastered starring Laura Croft. In a recently released patch 2, we made several texture and graphical updates to the high-definition version. As part of these updates, the posters in Sleeping with the Fishes, the lost artifact, were inadvertently removed in the HD version of the game. This has been resolved, and these textures will be restored in patch 3. So, this... Honestly, when it comes down to programming language and how the programming lines would have worked, does make sense that it would be inadvertently at this point. Was this censorship on purpose? It's hard to say, but I understand what they're saying here that they're, they're doing a texture upgrade. And <clears throat> when you have lines of code, you will generally write out your lines of code in one file and then copy and paste it over where it goes into the code. And there would have been an added line of code to show these posters in there. So they would have made this new texture code, a bunch of script that would have been there. They would have copied that entirely, copied it, then went into the, uh, into the file, went, did the whole highlight over the file, and then they would have pasted it over it, which would technically get rid of those two posters quite easily in that as a mistake. And I I can attest to that. Um, it's nearly impossible to prove if this initial change really was done inadvertently, but regardless, Asper has received praise from fans for rolling back the censorship of the game. These posters were upscaled as part of the game's remastering, so it seems unusual for such a unique assets to be removed even inadvertently. Like I said, this is how you program certain things like this and how you would actually program texturing. It, it, it's the way it comes down to the code and it's a simple copy and paste when you're using these things through the whole code. So yes, I would attest it's quite easy to override that and make the inadvertent decision to remove the posters which 
would be would leave where we are today with everyone crying out there no this is not right you're censoring the game at least they're doing the right thing and reverting the changes while they actually listen to fans this is extremely rare but you have my biggest thanks and quite simply to reverse those changes they would have taken the old code those two lines that would have added these two posters in there copied those and put them back where they actually belong in the new code which once again, isn't that hard to do when you have all the code saved in separate files. Tomb Raider 1 through 3 Remastered is available on PC via Steam, Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, uh, PlayStation 4, and PS5. You can check out the review. Now, there is another piece that is censored in it, and it is uh, Pierre's jacket where he, um, Tomb, or Laura Croft meets him quite early on in the game. Um, you can see the three pictures here, the very pixelated version of the jacket where it looks like it's a naked girl. And then later on, she's got a bikini. And uh, in the HD re resolution of the game, you can see she's got a bikini on as well. This is... This one I understand. Uh, it, it, it is an Easter egg, uh, and they're keeping the whole idea of it. And this jacket you see very, very quickly in the game, and a lot of people do zoom in on it for that sense. Now, this one in particular, because this game is out there for kids, uh, versus the pinups. The pinups are very tasteful. They're tasteful nudes. This one is a little bit more risque, and I can understand why there's a little bit more behind it. But ultimately, something like this in a game that was supposed to come out completely uncensored, I could see a little bit of an argument here. It is censored in this sense. Am I okay with this? Is everyone okay with this? That's up to you. That's your own personal choice at that matter does this make or break the game no i don't think so and it's a very very nuanced scene and a very very tidy easter egg and the easter egg technically is still there just in a more tasteful nude sort of way that's where that goes what do you think about all of this anyway I'm your product name, Phoenix Center Shadow. I'm signing off here. Have yourselves a great day. And it is, you know, it is a bit of a win to see the pinups come back. Would nice be able to have a few of these little more nuanced things, but this is very nuanced and very minor in comparison to what we're seeing with things like Stellar Blade, where the entire catalog of outfits are being censored. Have yourselves a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you again very soon.